All right, so this video, let's learn some basics with uh, WX Maxima. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is arithmetic. So basically, what I'm going to do is go through all of these all of these problems here uh, and show you how to uh, put them into WX Maxima. Okay, so, you know, I mean, if you want to write these down, you can pause the video and write them down. I'm, I'm going to switch over, I'm going to switch back over to WX Maxima and go ahead and enter all these in. So you won't be able to see them, you know, the problems, but if you want to write them down or whatever, you can. So you can see what, what problem's coming up next. All right, so let's get into WX Maxima. All right, so it's really basically kind of like uh, working with a calculator. Uh, the first one we have is three plus five, so we just punch in the three plus five. Now with WX Maxima, it needs a semicolon at the end, okay? But if you forget to do it, okay, if you forget to do it, and you just hit enter, it will automatically put the semicolon and it'll calculate the result for you. Okay, now let's look at 5 minus 2. Hit enter, that gives us 3. Okay, uh, multiplication 6 times 2. Okay, the multiplication symbol, uh, it's just the asterisk symbol. Uh, shift 8. Or if you have a number pad, it's on there. Okay, so, and then we'll have, uh, let's see, hit enter. That gives us 12. 24 divided by 3. Uh, that gives us 8. Okay. Square root of 3. So let's do square root. So that's S-Q-R-T. And then in parentheses, we want to put the 3. And then you notice that WX Maxima, it just returns the square root of 3. Okay. Well, to change this, to get the decimal approximation, we need to do float. Okay. And square root, comma, 3. Okay. Now, w w one thing, let me... Let me type this in again. I want to show you. Notice when we type in float and we hit the parentheses, it puts the open and close parentheses in there for float. Okay, And then we can just type in SQRT. And then when we do the SQRT, the 3 has to go in parentheses. When we do the parentheses, notice once again it puts the open and closed in there. And we just type 3. And then we hit Enter and it gives us the decimal approximation. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing you can do, let's just say we did the square root of five. Okay. <clears throat> so that's square root of five. Now, if I want the decimal approximation of that, I can type in float. Okay. Now, instead of typing in square root of five again, if whatever your last result was, in other words, here, the square root of 5, that was the last result I was given. Okay? So if I put in a percent sign, that percent sign recalls that previous answer there. So watch this. Hit enter, and there it is. Okay? So, you know, that that's another way you could do it. Uh, all right, and then let's look at 2 to the 7th, 2 raised to the 7th. Hit enter, and that gives us 128. Okay, now let's look at some, uh, let's look at an expression, put an expression in. So we have 3 times 5 plus 7 divided by 3. Okay, and WX Maxima, it will do the order of operations correctly. And we hit enter, and there we get 
52 over 3. Now, that's the fraction form of it. If you wanted that in decimal, what would you do? You would type float, parenthesis, and then we can use the percent key to recall that 5 over 3. I mean that 52 over 3. Okay, The percent is going to recall that value. Hit enter, and there it is in decimal. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do, this result we got here, we want to, uh, let's see what we want to do. We want to subtract the square root of 5 from this result here, the 5 halves or the, you know, the 17.333, okay? We want to subtract square root of 5 from that. So, I want to do this number, so I can type in percent minus and then square root of 5. So the percent sign, that's the 17.3333 minus the square root of 5. And I hit enter. And notice it gives me 17 point, all the 3's, minus the square root of 5. So let's turn that into a decimal. So what do we do? Float. Okay. See, this result here is what I want to turn into a decimal. Okay. So that's why I recall it using the percent sign. I'm recalling this entire result. And I hit enter. And we get 15.0972. Okay. Now we want to raise this result to the fourth power. So I can do percent, which is going to recall this number, raised to the fourth, and I hit enter. And there's that number raised to the fourth. Okay. And we can add subtract fractions. So the next problem was 5 over 3, and then just make sure that once you type that in parentheses, move it outside the parentheses, the cursor. So you can do minus and then 2 over 7. Hit enter. And once again, that's going to give us a fraction. Well, you know, most of the time that's, pro that, that's good enough what we want, the fraction. Uh, 29 over 21. But if we wanted to convert it to decimal, what will we do? Float and then recall the previous answer. So we have the percentage, hit enter. Okay. Now let me just show you one more thing. Uh, instead of typing the numbers in, we can actually do A. We can assign A to say the number 3. And we can assign B to the number, say, well, let's do 7. Okay. And so now... If I want to do something with that, I can just say A plus B, and that will return 10. Okay, So that's another thing you can do. You can assign letters to the numbers. Okay, So if on down further, I wanted to do maybe 4 times A plus, I'm going to say B divided by 6. And I hit enter. And there it gives you your answer. Okay. And then, of course, we can convert that to decimal. We can float, recall the previous, and hit enter. And there's your answer. All right, so hopefully this video helps. Uh, I'm going to try to do some more on some more videos on WX Maxima, you know, out, get into algebra, trig, and calculus with it. Uh, so, you know, hope, hope this helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.